King Ragnarok, Doors, Lucky Torius, Void Dweller. Oh my god, Z Zilvan, Vitaly! <laughs> Welcome back to Library of Arena! Last time, I conquered the vertical difficulty spike of legend! <laughs> you said I couldn't do it, but I fucking did it! <laughs> Hello, Moonlit Blue, welcome to the stream. And, uh, I still haven't learned to play the game, but I did it anyway. Oh my god. <laughs> and not only that, but in story wise, but the spike isn't over, oh boy. Oh no. Don't say that, Vitaly! The first! We gotta read uh, the Musicians of Bremen cards. But uh, yes, I should say barely squeaked by instead of conquered. Conquered in the, in a very abstract sense, yes. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and uh, yes, more importantly, story-wise, Angela is somehow, I don't know how it's happening, but she is literally somehow becoming human. And, uh, you can't wait for my next fight. Oh, boy. And I don't, and she's also becoming weaker, which is a scary thought. Oh, boy. Anyway, let's read these peeps. Yeehaw, doodle doo woof, and me. The form was removed to the core by the pianist's performance. To recreate the performance half as splendid as what we heard that day, Born the musicians of Bremen to study the music. We tried flicking strings here and there, playing music while sitting, on our backs, and even while handstanding. We couldn't come close to the pianist's level, but we managed to make our own brand of music. Something that only the musicians of Bremen can play. Our performance was actually pretty fantastic, you know? Sadly, our time didn't last long. One day a mysterious person approached us and asked us to join his ensemble and perform with him. Woof, doodle doo, and he not took over the offer and left with that guy. I stay, because the new member that just joined our band, though. Okay, so there's we haven't seen the last one. Yep, yeah, moo moo and oink. It's kinda uncomfortable to just leave them behind, you know? Can't let them mess around and taint our name either. I've been practicing with them to create a performance that could get a standing ovation once my old bandmates come back. But at their current level of skills, the three would just cluck at these movies performing and go back to whatever they were doing. They say the bank streets are a non-inhabitable hellscape. But the people here live on somehow. Yeah, somehow. <laughs> I'd really like to know how anyone would raise a family there. There are lots of people who live in fear at every moment, but the others live a pretty normal life. Some think that the back streets are totally shady and poorly aged slums, but we do have all the anemones we, ha we need here. For one, the supermarket's oink legs aren't as good as those in the nest, but it's got everything people need. Okay, here we go. Clothing stores, groceries, dry cleaners, etc. I heard the details are different for each district, so there's that. I'm just telling you how things are where I live. People here aren't too unkind to each other. Those nest dwellers like to gossip how we're cruel and dreary and all that, but the truth is, we're doing just fine. Oh, and there's tons of good restaurants here. Oh god, no. It's the street of flavor after all. Oh no, this is the worst! God, District 23 is the worst! Street of flavor after all, freshly baked meat pies, spaghetti made of special pasta. <sighs> Your tongue and stomach have a wonderful time if you ever go on a trip to our district. Oh no. Hello, Tox, and welcome to the stream. We used to hand over the leftover from our performance here to local restaurants. That meat would go to waste if we left it on the spot. So we might as well give it to the people who can make good use of it, ain't that right? 
when Whoop Doodle Doo and Hee Haw are around. I'm guessing we're gonna see them later on. We got enough chow to share with several eaters. But our find was half since they were gone. And only kept making silly mistakes with it and ruined those ingredients too often, so we quit that fizz altogether. Which is a tad unfortunate. We sometimes get tasty meals for free when we get more meat. Hello, Lurker. Welcome to the stream. The Seven Associations of Fake Service Association specializing in investigation and intelligence and it's knowledgeable in pretty much every affair that takes place in the city. Details about a syndicate getting infamy in the back streets of some place. The association probably knows where district is exactly, but I left before I checked the details of it. All the information revealed about the distortion phenomenon, which has been going around lately, when we fix the rope for start up and close business, and the beat goes on. The association frees all kinds of information about the city. Oh. They also don't have access to top secret intels like Secrets of Singularity and Ethan Assholes, obviously speaking. When they solve cases, they usually cooperate with the other associations like the Shi and the Lu. If you ask how the Seven Association can secure its confidentiality despite holding lots of juicy info that can attract the many, it's likely because the staff aren't bad combatants by any means. They don't use fancy but crude workshop weapons that are basically large amalgamations of various technologies. Regular informants are armed with nothing more than a simple bladed tool. It sounds very underwhelming judging from the weapon alone, but they use the minimum technique with pinpoint precision to take down their foes. Alright, now let's get back. Invitation. Interesting. Wait. Did, I forgot. Did, is this one we did? Oh yeah, no, that's the musician from. Sorry. Oh, so we're actually almost done. We're gonna finish. Uh, we're gonna get up to Urban Nightmares today. All right, cool. Book of Yuna and Book of Salvador. All right. Well, well, we're gonna... Wait, you really want me to do the other one first? Are you sure? Hello, Danch Van Pan. Welcome to the Strand. Wait. Okay. Uh, either is fine. Okay. Okay. Either is fine. All right. Yeah, you, we'll definitely get to do both today, so don't worry. Hello, gal. Welcome to the Strand. Hold on. I, I turned the air conditioning off because I thought it was fine, but apparently... Uh, it's one of those days where with the air conditioning it's too cold and without it it's too hot and it's just like hold on fucking hell Shit. Yeah, the mods are on. Mods are on. Don't worry. All right, let's go. Send. Oh, wow, they look super cool. Wedge fixer. Help yourself. You're gonna starve to death if you don't eat anything. Oh, Philip. Oh god, he's heart must be heartbroken. Oh, I hope at least some of these people survive. Thanks, the entro. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Thanks for the meal, but I don't feel like eating yet. No wonder. Your office got wiped out. You should harden your heart still. 
you think it was your fault? Yes. Had I stopped them? Had I been stronger and more mature? Oh God. Had I stayed there and not run away? Ooh, harsh. Then it's your fault. Yeah. Huh? You were too daft and weak to keep the others safe. It's your fault that everyone died. <gasps> Fucking hell. You bitch. Is it mommy jump can it also? Nika Penan Dero Senga Kamente. Feel better now? Think what you want. Iri Porozimian, Kerwa, Senga Kagi Penan, you're cut up to Chiman Tejana. When something happens, all you gotta do is make up reasons that are convenient to you. No? Chilte one in your motion jipota. Nap the Kagosh Pundaroma Senga Kagosh Pungojana. Hello, hello, Mirage. Welcome to the stream. In fact, Meow was like 44. I remember you guys saying that. That's that's pretty cool. People in their 30s and 40s are almost never like involved in in like games and shows and stuff. It's not like you actually care about the cause. You just want to believe whatever that convinces you. Oh, it is Bloodborne Office. Oh my God. Oh <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hi, kids. Don't bully that boy too hard now. I didn't do anything. It was all Pamela. They're 29? Oh, wow. 그래, 필립. 이제 이야기할 정신이 들었나? All right, Philip. Feeling well enough to talk now? 네. 배려 감사드립니다. Yes. Thank you for your kindness. 형제 사무소인데 돕고 살아야지. Pamela's voice actor also just hot. Wow. We are sister offices after all. Gotta help each other out. I don't want to kill you guys. You're too cool. Damn it. I'm sorry we couldn't help. We are in the middle of handling a case of distortion in the streets of District 12. Those victimized by the 8 o'clock circus held a show of pure insanity and hedonism. It was akin to a festival in hell. Gave us quite a bit of trouble. Oh, you used to look different. I had to get my body replaced too. This one's seriously not my style. Yeah, like ser yeah, exactly. Is that a robotic body? Doesn't that shape infringe the ethics amendment, though? Oh, this really is fucking cyberpunk. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Okay, so they're pretty rich. Dang. And that's why they look like twins. It's because she's in a copy of her body. Oh my god. It's not mechanical, it's a clone of my body. I got biological body recovery insurance some time ago. 
형체도 남지 않게 찢겨서 이 방법이 아니고서야 해결책이 없더라고 Emily's body was torn apart beyond recovery, so this was the only way we had left for her. I see. Her head was thankfully intact. I thought fixer insurances were a complete robbery, but it did help us out for once. Hello, Riggs. Welcome to the stream. Jump. 너네 사무소는 해결사 보험 같은 거안 들어줬어? Speaking of, doesn't your office have any insurance? 얼마 안된 신입이라 경황이 없어 그것까지는 잘 모르겠습니다. I mean, if they have this technology, if they have this level of technology, do they have like like real life backup save files like like you know people can like make a copy of their memories and stuff? And get cloned back into existence? Like, if they have enough money as insurance? Like, is that a thing in this world? Because it seems like it would be with the technology that they have. I was a relatively new member at that office. So I didn't know that much. Yeah, you'll just want to see if the office had any. There are many types of insurance with various conditions. It's nice to have a body again! Why did it have to be this? The memory repository, exactly! Oh, hello, gal, welcome to the stream. Mo? 당장 급해서 기껏 복사 시술을 해줬는데 That's right. 말하는 꼬라지 봐라. Because we had the memory repository. No, that's not true. If they do a clone, they said they were clones. So if they can just age up a clone body, like basically with enough money, people can live forever. Yeah, or the inverse of that is that if you have enough money, you're guaranteed to live until you until you're at your most desperate point like until you lose all your money or something catastrophic happens which is kind of ironic because it it, it just guarantees everyone's life ends in absolute in in misery which is also another is the flip side to that what i urgently had body cloning surgery to save you and this is how you thank me What's the point? Even just looking at the mirror is discouraging. Don't you dare damage that body. You know what? Why don't you just die a permanent death this time? That way you can't be recovered by any means. You won't have to pay me for the clone body then. Are you asking for a fight? Yeah, you punk. Hmm. You certainly are masterful at making sangwa cha, as Salvador said. Exactly, Gal, I was thinking that. You flatter me, sir. But she has the same face, because they said they saved her head. A penny for your thoughts, Philip. 
Did the library appear to be related to the distortion phenomenon in any way? I'm not sure. I haven't experienced the distortion myself. But that place looked more alien than anything I've ever seen. And Mark's... Damn positive. And Master and Seonbe. They got turned into books there. Hmm. Uh, that doesn't help. Several associations have started keeping an eye on this matter. It's not just the associations. Even the wings and the fingers are clueless about what to make of the distortion. Yeah. All right. 그런 건 아무 상관없다는 표정이구만. Yeah. Don't seem too interested in the current topic. 뒤틀림이고 뭐고 간에. 자네는 지금 당장이라도 도서관으로 돌아가서 동료들의 책을 찾고 싶은 것이지. You must want to forget all this fuss about the distortion. And head right back to the library and retrieve the books of your colleagues. 마음 같아서는 그러고 싶습니다. I wish I could do just that. 하지만 스승님께서 남겨주신 쪽지에는 섣불리 행동하지 말고 오스카님에게 의지하라고 적혀 있습니다. But my master said to me in his note that I shouldn't act hastily and instead depend on your, on your aid. <sighs> that old friend left me with quite the troublesome little fella. Death is a staple in this business. But his wife and children must be heartbroken still. God damn it. Fuxi, Manavana. Have you met them? Anyo. Ajik Chasabek Chimbotesmida. No. I couldn't visit them yet. Where is he? Why is that? I'm too ashamed to face them. Our next stop will be the library. Ready your gear. Thank you, sir. So we're going to go with four people. Oh, wow. Don't mistake this for kindness. We're simply taking you with us because we're already planning to go there. And this is the least I can do to bear responsibility for my old friend's death. Ouch. Damn, he cannot catch a break. Personally, I'd never let a fixer like you join me office. It would give us a bad name. Hello, Emmett. Welcome to the stream. Is it wrong? Is it so pathetic for me want to, to want to repay the favors of my colleagues for their sake? Hello, Lucas. Hel welcome to the stream. Everyone says not to act upon attachment. That is unclassy and naive thing to do. Do you 
Can't we as fixes? No, as people living in the city, do anything on the behalf of others. Gosh, you're insufferable. You didn't even say that you're wrong or anything. He just doesn't want those kind of fixes in our office. Simple as that. Don't be a miserable ass about it. Nothing is as unreliable as someone who's easily swayed by their feelings. You want us all to die so you can just fulfill your ideals or what? Hello, Sergei Tim. Welcome to the stream. You must sincere, be sincerely believing that your actions are for others. And that you are different from all the other unkind and selfish denizens of this city. Thinking that you're fighting for some higher cause. 하지만 그것은 철저히 이기적인 생각이야. But know that those are in fact entirely selfish thoughts. 이기적인 생각 중에서도 자신을 속이는 가장 위험한 부주지. It's the most dangerous kind of selfishness. You deceive yourself into thinking you're selfless. 일타적인 행동이라는 건 인간에게 있을 수 없어. 누군가를 위해서 목숨을 바치겠다는 것도 자신을 위한 것이야. Damn, Oscar. Well, that's a depressing way to live. You know? If you want to just be sad all the time, then like, seriously. Man, you need you were one of the people who needed the fucking light from the thing out at the end of Lobotomy Court more than most. There can be no such thing as a selfless action for us humans. Even the act of self-sacrifice is ultimately for oneself. A very dangerous kind of selfishness. One that slowly eats away at your peers and leaves them to damnation. Son. Hi! You gave a fine speech. But I must wonder if you're truly upset for the sake of Salvador and your other late colleagues. I'll go prepare myself. Oh, really? That Philip guy seems to be hurt. But I agree with Oscar here. Huh. Few things are as dangerous and nasty as selfishness in the guise of for the sake of someone else. I think I know what you mean. The determination to work for the good of others can be a dreadful and loathsome weapon. Especially if one strongly believes that the justice they're pursuing is worth sacrificing for. They are blinded by self-righteousness and have no regards for their surroundings. They don't care what happens to others. Oh, I know. I know who she's... I know who she's thinking of. I know who she's thinking of. Yeah, she's thinking of A. 
They justify themselves for pressing forward, pursuing their justice, crushing everything in their way. <laughs> well, Roland, you two are believing this for very different reasons. You're saying it because you're fucking depressed. And Angela's saying because she has an axe to grind against someone who had that idea. Well, this might be the first time we understood each other for real. I'm touched, man. Champagne, <laughs> How about some champagne? Yeah. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god. Hello, lucky coin, welcome to the stream! Stop frowning already, would you? You're so annoying. Hello, Mara. Welcome to the stream. Hey, still recovering. Would you give him some space? Tiny things like this can still affect my psyche. Never mind. You don't need to care about me. I'll try not to be a hindrance. Uh, Hello, Crown of Ryan. Welcome to the stream. I'll stab you as soon as I determine that you're getting in our way. Greetings, dear guests. Uh, though... Your group seems to be in a rather ill mood. <laughs> oh my god. Well, isn't that like par for the course in the city? Oh, and she must feel so happy. I thought you were a machine. But could it be that you're partially human? Don't stare at us so viciously now. We just poked you to make sure. Not kill you or anything, Baka. And this is... I see what, the, what side of Angie is coming out right now. This is like... This is the A side of her. Like, she's gonna eventually come into the philosophy, or a philosophy, similar to Aeon, probably. Because of her beliefs about things like this. It, it, it's so fascinating. Oh. How rude. Hasn't anyone taught you to behave? Huh. I heard the librarian of this place was supposed to be nice. Oh. oh my god! Oh my god! Someone advised me that there's no need to be courteous with ill mannered guests who slap and spit in my face without reason. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta read to it. The only one allowed to thrust me is Roland. <laughs> I apologize. We couldn't afford to be polite when our very lives are at risk. Oh, really now? Hello, Bill. Welcome to the stream. 
Oh my god! Hello, Tor. Welcome to the stream. Character development! This isn't like what we heard about her at all. She must have had her own woes. Okay, what can they- Upon taking a le lethal blow, reduce all incoming damage, including what activated this passive by 25. Apply for this team. So they're a pierce gang. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of HP. Okay, they're, they're pretty standard. What does he have? Apply one- Okay, so he's a burn master. Okay, so, so kill him last, basically. Alright, and we do not want anyone weak to Pierce. Roland, you, you don't even have anything on you. None of you have anything on you. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we do not want people weak to Pierce here. Yeah, all right. Looks like uh, I, I, I'm sadly gonna. I I hate it that like backing out means like uh, you literally back out of everything. I, I don't like that. I wish like. All right, let's see. Neville, uh, you need a different card. Um, empty bookshelf. Wait, let's check out this. Yeah, you're good against Pierce. So another speed dice, one strength. All right, yeah, this is a good one. Okay, and you. Why not have two of them? Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. I can give Sire's page. That's true. needs okay this this needs a uh, fucking uh, this needs to be redone all right uh, fuck this all right let's get new new thing out um you're going to be a burn master right so Let's give you burn stuff. Wait, it's not working. Yeah, Leah, let's get rid of the, the Lulu page. Yeah, we need to get a rang new key page. Okay. search. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, that's good. Oh, yeah, that's where the speed die. Yeah, yep. Yeah. All right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I forgot. Okay, speed die. Uh, where's... Oh, God. There's no search for speed die. Oh, last time we, uh, here we go. There we go. All right, now let's give him cards. I don't care, I still like this card. Okay, now let's. I know it works, but that's because I'm in the preparation stage. I have not done any general receptions. We'll, uh, how about this? After we, um, we'll do them at the very end after we finish these two sets, okay? Okay, now to, for these two. What do you have? Okay. I'm trying to find on use. They all say on hit. None of them say on use.
Oh yeah, that's way better. That is way better. Because it's on use, Light Restore. It's, that's why it's better. Okay, I think we're good. All right, let's go. Jazz band, let's fucking go. And this guy needs to die last. Damn it. He gonna attack. God damn it, why do these start off off? Seriously.
Damn it. Whoa! Damn it. There we go. Sorry. I'm so sorry, you guys. Okay, he's almost dead. He just needs one guy to fuck him up. Okay. break these clashes. How is he still not fucking dead? Oh, he did. He ran away. There we go. Okay. All dice gain two power in a clash and one side attack. Do it. Philip runs. Oh, I got her staggered. Awesome. Okay. Oh, you're going to be fighting also Tiffara. Okay. Because of his weapon. All right. Max Dan. Oh, wow. There we go. Um, Bernie and Pamela. I warned you time after time to watch your front. There we go. Because Philip. Yeah, Philip ran away again with 10 HP. Oh, and he staggered. All right, everybody fucking dog pile. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh 
god, it's scripted. Oh god, he's scripted. Oh no, he's scripted. I knew this was too good to be true. He's scripted. Oh no, something's gonna happen. He's fucking scripted. Yeah, I didn't read his passive. Alright, well, we just gotta try again. There we go, now he's dead. Oh, okay. Okay. That's right, he doesn't die at first. Okay. I, you know, Riggs, just because I read doesn't mean I can remember everything I read. <laughs> you know, just because I read doesn't mean I remember everything that I read. There's Philip. Please get away, Philip, please. You get his hat as a cosmetic if you beat through his passive. Oh, wow. <sighs> Yet again, I... Dude, just go home, man, please. I don't want you to die. Hello, NKSD. Welcome to the stream. I thought I could fight with them until the end this time. Oh god, is he gonna get a shonen power up? How long am I going to keep hiding behind others? What could I have changed if I stood with him and fought along? If only I had the courage to stand up to something. If I had that courage, I... When I was told to run, I hesitated. If I ran away leaving my master and Seonbe behind, they might think of me as a coward. Maybe they actually wanted me to stay with them. But the decision I made... To listen to them, believing that it was for their sake. I convinced myself that it would only be a hindrance if I stayed. There's nothing I can do here, so I should go outside and ask others for help. This is all for Saiyan Bay and Master! That I'm doing this for others. I was determined to sacrifice myself for others. But I forfeited. Telling myself this wasn't the right time. I told myself it's fine because I'm still a selfless man. a vile and selfish person. Oh, God. I involve Wedge Office telling them this is for my master and Seonbei. 
그들의 희생을 당연하게 여기며 다시 도망쳤지. And I took their sacrifice for granted and ran away again. 나를 위해서가 아니다. It's not for myself. 내가 하려는 일에 대한 당위성을 부여하기. Oh God, Philip, no, please run away. Trying to justify what I wanted to do. 끝없이 반복하는 그들을 위한 타인을 위한 누군가를 위한 Endlessly parroting for them, for others, for someone else, for whom? The words I uttered to disguise my selfishness as something greater! Yo, main strange, welcome to the stream. God, no! Stop it! Please, just run away, please! He was right. I was the most selfish and dangerous person. I don't want to embellish my motives saying it's for others. Damn it! Please run away. I was doing it all for me. Stop! For myself above anything else. For me, who's feeling sadder than anyone. Oh god, he is getting a show in power up. He's going super saiyan. What the fuck? Uh, oh god, he's going Super Saiyan. Oh my god. He is going Super Saiyan. Philip, oh god. We have no idea where we're going. Oh my god! God. Whoa. What ego is that? Is that like He got ego. No one's going to cry on my behalf, even if I'm sad. This sadness is mine to bear. After all, if I must carry this emotion, if I can't get rid of it, if I have to repeat this cycle, of sinking into the swamp of despair and then picking whatever comforts me. Then I'll take the path of getting back on my feet with this sadness instead. Because I believe I can do it. Because it's what I must do. I have to move forward. This power has to be an opportunity given to me. Oh boy! Shimmering, it's exhaust all pages in hand and tech. Add new pages. Their cost becomes zero. 
burning passion at the start of the scene like three burn to all enemies if they're not staggered. Oh god. Unstable shell of ego. Ray Lucius between feather shield and searing sword mold. It's like burn after taking hits upon attacking. How do you know which mode he's in? Blazing strike periodically. How do you know what mode he's in? Oh god. Ready and blazing strike. He's in feather shield mode. Okay, so we shouldn't hit him then. Or rather we should just um we should just uh freaking uh clash him. And they all get burned. Okay, let's see. Attack and urge two damage. Deal one three damage. Oh, that's good. Too bad it only works on one person. Alright. He's still in feather shield mode. Alright. Okay, so just clash. Damn it, I don't have anyone with five. Oh, yes, I do. Damn. Okay, now... It's time to go full force. I really still don't understand clashing? Oh man, I thought I did. Oh man, I really thought I did. Now it's time for him to do his ult. Here we go, ultimate attack. Okay.
dead. Unbelievable. I thought you were dead. Staggered, yes. There we go, one. Woo! All right. Well, that wasn't too bad. All right, okay, that was a really cool boss. I think two copies of Combat Page Searing Sword, nice. Oh my god. <laughs> he didn't- oh wait, he actually ran away again? You said Ox Oscar actually did care about Philip. Tell me about that, Riggs. Okay, oh yeah, we got a bunch of things. Let's see. Pamela, P Pamelli, Pamela, Oscar. No Philip book. Oh yeah, because he ran away again. Oh, we got his glasses? Really? Are you sure? Oh, that's right. Imperfect ego right there. It's, it's HP plus one, but yeah. All right, let's go. Hello, lucky coin. He got yeeted out by force. Okay. Whoa, what is up with that Philip kid? Like a Roland doesn't know about ego yet, that's right. When did he get such a high performing workshop gear? No, not even the workshops can make equipment as good as that. This actually reminds me of that guy. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Hello, Graham Cracker. Welcome to the stream. Oh no. Oh, hello, Moonlit Blue. Uh, oh no. Oh no. He's making the connection. Oh god. Egeo. It's really said EGO? I thought it was I thought you just call it ego. Damn it. I've been saying it wrong this whole time. Oh my god. Oh god. EGO. Oh, now she says it. God damn it. That appears to be ego. Ego, ego, what are you talking Ego, you mean the ego, as in someone's consciousness? It's a silly wordplay. They're essentially the same thing. But I thought the the pianist was a distortion. The shell of one's ego. It's a physical manifestation of the mind. Really? Because, uh, like, does ego stand for Enkephalin gear ordinance or something like that? Or maybe, uh, Enkephalin generated object. Yeah, it's, it's, it's that, right? I... Uh, is that what it is? Yeah, I think that's the same King Ragnar. She probably hates it because Ayan made it. Expression execution of geometrical origin. Really? Geometrical? 
will have to do with anything? What the fuck? What does the geometry have to do with this? Organ. Oh, uh, geometric board. That's so... That makes even less sense! Extermination of geometric... That doesn't make any fucking sense. What does that got to do with nothing? Jeez. What? The mind? Physically brought about? That sounds too vague to be a real thing that could happen. Elsa took it from you, so. Some tarik in Etiman. Really? I think Enkephalin generated object. Or. Or, like, like that, that, that sounds like, uh. Sounds like, uh. Makes, makes more sense, I think. It was the singularity of Alcorp, although the process was different. While Elcorp extracted Ego deliberately, Philip must have manifested his thanks to his thanks to the influence of the White Knights and Dark Days. Yes, I understand somewhat now. But the brig singer trained for that uh, the thought for a moment. You mean anyone can just extract powerful equipment like that from their mind? Free of charge? <laughs> Thanks for the donation, Void Dweller. Don't rush me. This is also my first time seeing it manifest this way. If you were so curious, you shouldn't have let him get away. Uh, yeah, th there's the where they say he ran away. Man. Wouldn't it be like an amazing fucking power boost if Roland got an ego? And wouldn't it be so like, wouldn't it be so uh, freaking uh, gratifying for Angela to get an ego of her own as well? I hope they get egos. And they're like, like, they look like a match set. That's what I hope happens. <sighs> I didn't know that coup would put in this kind of device on him. Old man Oscar is still not honest to himself. You seem to have a number of old friends. Well, yeah, they're seasoned veterans with mountains of experience. Oh, uh, yeah, and such a low-level fixer would know all these people. I bet you used to be pretty high-ranked. It's hard not to run into him at least once or twice as a fixer, you know? Oh, that's the end? That was a very awkward cutoff, but okay. Alright, let's see how close we are to... Oh wow, okay, net touch. Oh, yeah, look like oh god, we are very close to uh getting more tiferous. Okay, let's burn some stuff. We are very, very close to uh getting Tiferous next thing. Oh boy, and the next magical girl. Pamela, 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 and, and one Oscar. An Oscar is, is one you can only get one. Okay. Unrelenting. Upon taking a legal, legal. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's Pierce Maniac. Fucking incredible. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll read the books. Yeah. Pamela, Pamela. 
Yeah, and these, this is basically, if you want Pierce, here, you have Pierce for days, is what this is, basically. Oh, wow, that's nice. I have a feeling that we're gonna run into another magical girl at the end of this stream. Oh god. Oh god! We totally are, cause oh god, it's gonna be the next one, isn't it? Ah, shit fuck. Give that to Nutsatch, okay. I will. I will. No, it is a really fun game. Like, I think the gameplay is super interesting and strategic. I wish I was smart enough to do the strategy well. And, uh, I love the story. Oh, we forgot to click on the Nate. Okay, let's see. The Eight Crook Circus was a real suit of a case. Its leader wasn't a particularly powerful enemy. But it took a long time to assess the strengths and behaviors of each of his crew. There was no specific pattern to it, and it was difficult to predict what would come next. It was akin to watching an erratic circus of lunacy. Their lair was mysterious and terrifyingly bleak, and the crew took hideous farms as well, looking too grotesque to possibly they considered normal living beings. They were as strong as they looked, when the blob shaped like a lion bit family with its blunt teeth. Her body quite literally blew up on the spot. However, our enemies were slowly brought down from the vantage point, and when they were completely carnage, the leader escaped along with a few of his crew. Oh, they escaped. Oh, so we'll probably be fighting them eventually using these guys as uh, uh, books to lure them in. Even though we couldn't put an end to the case, we decided to prioritize recovering family's body. As we deemed the circus would be weakened enough to stay low for a while. As we stirred family's head in a stasis preservation case, and headed to the exit of the Collapse and Circus Tent. It ran into a group of fixers. They seemed rather exhausted after fighting a swarm of the crew outside. Oh, this is a long one. I suppose that's why they couldn't enter the tent until that moment. It's not uncommon for two or more offices of fixers to be present at the scene of the finished case. So I gently nodded to greet them, identifying ourselves as fixers of wage office. We have come here to solve the case. The shortest person among them, the aged looking woman who appeared to be the representative of that group, looked around the circus tent. They took a deep sigh and introduced herself as Moses of Moses' office, or smoking from a pipe. Here's another group of people we'll probably meet with their pages. Moses then started thinking, presumably ruminating over what words to choose. She must have taken a request that's rather tricky to disclose. The two people behind her nervously exchanged glances with each other, appeared to be her bodyguards of some sort. Having such trivial thoughts, I waited for this Moses person to resume speaking. After a brief period of silence, Moses breathed out smoke in the other direction and asked me where the leader of the circus went. Since I didn't know much better than them, I told them what I could in brief. They seemed troubled by my unhelpful answer. But they soon accepted it and left the scene. That group reportedly appears every time a case of the distortion is solved. They are allegedly working as... Oh, the distortion detective! There we go. You better read about all their adventures in the distortion detective coming. 
but recent witnesses of their appearance were always followed with a distortion case in the same location. It's un well, it's unclear whether they're involved in this case. I believe there's enough reason to be worried. There we go. That's why it's so long, because it's a big ad for the distortion detective. Life insurance for fixers is often a sham. A lot of them take your money never to give it back. Even if you terminate your insurance, they won't. It's not easy for your damage to be insured either. You have to be as death door to qualify, pretty much. The chances are as low as winning the lottery. And what if you just up and die? What can the dead do with money? You'll be much better off making a savings account for an augment procedure of quality workshop gear. I was a very lucky case. Are you serious, Kane? They ad adapted Distortion Detective as a mod for Ru Ruina. That's incredible. I'd love to play that. Oh, wow. That would be an amazing way to experience the story. I was a very lucky case. Keep in mind that this isn't the norm at all. Insurance can sometimes be useful depending on its form and condition, sure. But if you take the pay into account, it still doesn't feel too great. Basically speaking, people who visit our office are looking for shrewd and precise situational assessment, rather than combat prowess. Oh, they didn't finish it? Oh, that's, that's a shame. The ability to make quick calculations for various possible scenarios and neutralize or kill the enemy with the least effort. We are hunters of the city. Yes, they're hunters. <laughs> Definitely. Hunters. Hunters. We wedge pierce the requests we get with swiftness and precision. Hello, Bruce and Fire. Welcome to the stream. You can see what we just did. Of course, our office isn't perfect in every regard. So we're in partnership with a number of other offices. Fixer offices often request others for help when reinforcements or professional aid in specific areas is needed. Oh, they're turning Distortion Detective into a proper visual novel? Oh my god, wow. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. I'm totally going to read that. This channel is like bread and butter is on visual novels, so 100% going to read that. Wow. In the case of our office, we are sister offices with John office, sharing more information than we do with most other partners. Oscar is, was, good friends with Salvador, the man running that office. And they've known each other for quite some time. But there's more to this sisterhood than that. Wedge Office excels at analyzing the capabilities of foes. And Dawn Office specializes in combat. So it's only natural that we go well together. I already bought the Limbus Battle Pass, waiting for Season 2, Norris. Hello, the meow. Welcome to the stream. Right, and that's it for Credenza Nation. Let's go, the final one. Are we gonna see more about the fucking train? What is the deal with the train? I'm betting that they're gonna har harvest people's organs. I'm so betting they're gonna har harvest people's organs. That's it, Th they harvest the organs and somehow like exact copies of them with everything, all their stuff that they had are the ones that get off the train. Right, is it time for training? Then we're gonna fucking do. Let's go. Yes, it's train time. Ready. Oh god, it's this couple. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. It's finally happening. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Oh god. Oh god. I'm already sad. Oh god. 
They're totally gonna die. Oh god. Mary? Where are we now? How much time has passed? Tumi. Tumi. Oh, no. oh no! Oh no, oh no! Tommy. Tommy, you're awake! Liane. Oh god, are they gonna like eat each other? Oh god. Are they gonna have to like resort to cannibalism or something? Oh god. I'm sorry. Okay. I won't look at chat. <laughs> Welcome, Nico, while I'm stream. I don't really know. Alright. I'm, I'm not gonna look at chat. I'm just moving it off. I'm moving chat off the screen. So I can't see. I don't really know. I don't really know how long we've been here. Who are these two? They look like they're almost in a different art style. We're about 10 days in. How are, oh yeah, that's right. They don't starve to death. That's right. I forgot. They, they don't, uh, they are not feeling hungry or tired. 10 days? How are you feeling right now? You're out cold for three. Warp I thought warp trains were supposed to arrive in just ten seconds. How could this happen? What's gonna happen to us? Where are we? I'm not certain myself, Mr. Tommy. Ah, 당신 이름은 옆에 계신 연인분께 들었어요. Ah, uh, I already heard my, your name from your lover, in case you're wondering. 저는 간호사로 일하고 있는 엘레나라고 합니다. Oh, God. I'm already sad. I'm just, my imagination is just, oh, God. It's running wild in the worst way. I'm Elena, currently working as a nurse. 여기는 우리 병원의 의사 선생님이신 재현님. And this is Jai Hyun, a doctor from our hospital. 처음 인사드립니다. A pleasure to meet you. 자기가 기절한 사이 이분이 간호해 주셨어. They took care of you while you fainted. 이런 상황은 저도 처음이에요. This is my first time experiencing a delay like this too. Really? Okay, so. Okay, so yeah, definitely they've been copied for sure. Yeah, because if they've used it in the past, then some version of them must still exist. I've used warp trains quite often, you see. I'd always have a pleasant 10 second trip to the destination. Do you know anything about accidents like this, Doctor? Not at all. This kind of malfunction should surely be fatal to W Corp's image. It's strange that they haven't made any response for this long. <laughs> No, I think he would have already died of thirst if that was possible. Why are we worrying about W Corp? We're all gonna starve to the trapped inside this train! Tommy, actually. Let me tell him. Yeah, the, the, they're like in some kind of weird stasis where they don't need food or water. Tommy, you were asleep for the last three days. Are you feeling any thirst right now? <laughs> you didn't consume any water or moisture while you were out, just so you know. Oh. Ugh. I'm not thirsty at all. I'm not thirsty at all. 
For some reason, no one here appears to be feeling any kind of hunger or thirst. 정확히는 생명 유지와 관련한 생리 현상에는 그 어떤 문제가 없는 상태예요. To elaborate, no one has shown malfunction or distress in vital physiological functions. 그런 게 어떻게 가능하죠? 대체 무슨 일이 벌어지고 있는 건데요? How is that even possible? Just what is going on here? 거기까진 모르겠네요. 잠시 기다려보죠. 우리에게는 시간밖에 없는 것 같으니까요. We have no idea. Let's wait a little more. Seems that time is all we have after all. 시간...인가요? Time, huh? 토미, 힘들면 다시 눈좀 붙여도 돼. 내가 여기 옆에 항상 있을 테니까. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I'm not reading the chat right now. If you guys are just, I see the chat going. I can see the thing rolling, but I can't read what anyone's saying. I can just read your names, basically. So don't, yeah. I, I, I have no idea what, what, what you guys are saying. I can just see your names scrolling up because I have it like almost off, off the screen. So just, I, I can see like two words of what you say, the first two words, and that's it. Tommy, you can keep your eyes closed if you're tired. I'll always be at your side. I'm trying not to look at it, Zio, and I, I can see the, actually the first three letters of what you're saying. You can, you're saying I can work that with that. <laughs> I can guess. And people with longer names, I can't see it at all. I can't see a single thing you're saying for people with longer names. Except if you go into two lines on my end, but there, yeah, see. <laughs> oh my god, stop it. <laughs> oh god. I'm just so worried, you guys. Me too, Mary. I'll stay next to you all the time. 15 days. Tommy. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Tommy! Tommy! Mary, what's going on? I would just try to go to sleep forever. Honestly. Mary, what's wrong? What's with all this noise? Tommy, Tommy wake up! This is bad! Oh god, what's happening? Although we did expect something like this to happen sooner or later. What's going on? Oh god, people are getting into fucking fights. Oh god. I bet people are getting into fucking wars or some shit. Oh god, and they're killing each other. It seems trouble has occurred in the carriage next to ours. What? Oh, what are... what are they doing? He's killing himself, I bet. Oh, God. Watch me. Witness me. <laughs> a natural reaction to being trapped in a closed space like this for more than two weeks. Yep. Did that person just slice off their own throat? No. Oh god, is he still unable to die? Huh? This is intriguing. Doctor? Who's Eileen? Certainly is. Eileen didn't send us here for nothing. Oh, I'm 
Mr. Stalker Dark, welcome to the stream. I can see your name. Stick with me, Mary. Sixteen days so the next day. Oh, Tommy Shi. Irona Shakunyo. Ah, Mr. Tommy, you're finally awake. I would just try to sleep. I would just go to sleep forever. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> I never thought I'd faint so many times in my life. The sight must have been quite shocking for Miss Mary as well. Yeah, she's still asleep. Uh, what happened to that person? Quarantine. Oh god, are they gonna become like monsters? Oh god, is, is W Corp waiting until they're all dead? Or they all kill each other? If you're talking about that person that slit their own throat, they were put under quarantine to bring carriage. <laughs> There's 300 people on board. Can't be the only one to have done such a thing. Quarantined? You mean they're not dead? They should have died after bleeding so much. Usually don't quarantine a corpse. They're surprisingly alive, even though the arteries were cut. Blood was spilled all over the floor, but it wasn't completely separated from the body. Really? Well, that's weird. Not a single drop of blood was scattered or smeared on other surfaces. A pool of blood remained in contact with the body like a cohesive mass. And that person stayed conscious the whole time. Enough to communicate. Oh god, there was an SCP like this? Oh god. Oh god, I think it was like... It's something called when death may die or something like that. Oh God. There was an SCP like about this. They're probably still vividly feeling the pain of their neck being slit. It's the singularity. What the hell? How could any of this be possible? <sighs> I'm afraid I don't know. Sorry, Mr. Tommy. I can't help but give you the same response all the time. No, it's all right. I shouldn't expect you to know all the answers after all. There's one thing we can know for sure. And that's... Yep, oh no. That this is only the beginning. You'll have to brace yourself. Oh god. For the sake of your lover as well. Yeah, I gotta. 30 days, okay. Two more weeks. Tommy. Yep. Suicidal. Oh, God. This must be what the, what the cleanup agents are for. 
to like somehow kill the the monstrous people. Oh god, they're gonna get ripped to shreds, aren't they? Like they've turned into zombies or some shit. Tommy, this is Miho from the next carriage over to me. Five of the thirty carriages are refilled with suicidals. Don't worry, Mary. People in our carriage are still going strong. So, Elena, are they gonna try to like build their own society here? It's all thanks to Alina and Jehan, Yon. It's not just us, everyone in six adjacent carriages seem to be counting on these two. Oh god, they're gonna fucking die, aren't they? It really is. So professional and collected, it's reassuring to have them around. They're gonna fucking die. Don't jinx them. Don't jinx them. You're right. If it weren't for Elena and Jehyeon, we might. Yeah. Mary, don't say dark things. Do not tempt fate. Oh my god. Two more months. Oh god. situation is worsening, worsening everyone. How many carriages are there? <laughs> carriages 5 to 15 are still in solidarity, including carriage 7 where we are located. But things are not looking good for carriages beyond 15. Even just three days ago. Yeah, I heard carriage 19 is already full of half dead people. Oh god, they're gonna be ripped to death by the fucking zombies. It's like freaking 28 days later shit. Oh god. But what is the purpose of this? They're breaking each other's carriages and ravaging people's bodies like they were playing with them like toys. That's sadly the case. Those people seem to have decided to accept pain as a way to endure this trial of time. Have they gone mad? Killing each other just to pass the time! They aren't exactly dead though. Mary! They're crawling around with their limbs barely attached! They're pretty much good as dead! Wait a minute. I, I thought the, bl the blood stayed attached to their body. How are the balls filled with blood and stuff? That's right. We must persevere. We can't stop them from damaging their own bodies. Forcing their pain on others is simply unacceptable. Oh God. Oh God. Miss Elena Jehyeon, sir, what can we do? What if they attack my younger siblings? I'm sure you don't want to be separated from your loved ones. You want to stay with them forever on this trip that might last an eternity, don't you? Oh God, oh God. Yes, we do. We'll be able to endure it if we're together. Can you show us a way, Jaehyun? I don't want to be separated from Tommy either. You feel the same, right, Tommy? Yeah, of course. Then please have faith in us. 
그리고 그들과 맞서 싸워야 합니다. A fucking zombie movie. What is it called? Train to Busan is the uh, like a famous Korean uh, zombie movie. I've never seen it, but I imagine it includes include zombies. I know it includes zombies, and there's train in the title, so we need your agreement. You must be prepared to fight them. So, Daniel, fight them. 소중한 사람들과 갈라놓으려는. The vile people from beyond carriage 15 are trying to break us apart, of course. A hundred days, which is like 10 days. They're mad. They're all crazy. Mr. Tommy, are you still hesitating? Tommy, What's going on? Tommy, look at them. They don't look all too bad. I was shocked at first, but... Oh god, they're going to do a suicide pact. If I can be with you forever, Tommy. And I think I'll be able to make it through. Mary, <laughs> Sorry, Mary. I just... I need a little more time to think. I I'm almost worried if Elena and Jaehyun might be like a m m moles or something. Uh, that that's what I'm almost worried about. Like, if they're, if they're like actually moles. And are like telling them exactly what W Corp wants them to hear on purpose. That's what I'm kind of worried about. Because they wouldn't be showing us pictures of people we're never going to fight. And, uh, like, I think when all this is said and done, like, at least those two are probably going to... It's got to be at least them, right? So, I think, uh, yeah, Elena and Jake has got to... I think they're, gonna, they're moles. They are probably doing something to, to egg this on. They're probably going to betray them. That's what I think, at least. Mr. Tommy, while this train is abundance of time, we don't have much of it left for us. Yeah, look, look what, he, look what they're doing right now. I won't compel you. The decision is in your hands. Sick fuckers. If my theory is true. My theories are like not usually true. 113 days. Here we go. Are they like the last holdouts or something? I'll do it. I'll do it, damn it! Tommy! Tommy! So you've decided. He's seen. I've seen what happened to the people in carriage 14. Braided? They were just sitting there drooling. Their eyes turned white in shock. Mary, I can't let the same happen to you, Mary. Tommy. Th are they going to do like a suicide pact? Tell me, I feel the same. Yeah, that looks like what they're doing. Good. Let's start the procedure immediately. Yeah, look at that fucking smile. Look at that fucking smile. It feels like the, they, these two knew exactly what were going to happen. They probably w paid a fucking fortune by W Corp to do this. Sensei. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Doctor, preparations, please. He nods. 120 days. What is going to happen? Tommy, how are you feeling? I don't know. It's a fucking horror story right here. Incredible. 
but I'm relieved. Oh yeah. Oh, they're they're they're, they're they're what are they like fucking tied together? Oh god. I can feel your heartbeat vividly. Yeah, they're like sewn together as some kind of monster. Me too. We'll never be apart again. 150 days. Yeah, I knew it! You fuckers. It's gotta be you two, you fuck nuts. Thanks to your love. We could keep carriages up to number 10 safe. I knew it! I fucking knew it! I fucking knew it! All thanks to the new bodies you gave us, Doctor. I'm flattered to hear that. Your love for each other has really protected you. Doctor, Courage Chen is urgently asking for help. Yeah, they're probably sewn together in some kind of fucking monster. Mr. Tommy and Miss Mary, could you add to Courage Ten and lend them your strength? Yeah, yeah they're fused together totally. Huh? But we never fought anyone in our lives. And we aren't strong either. <laughs> your affection for each other will surely invigorate your new body. We'll trust you, Doctor. Whoa! 3,437 days! We can shove suicidals into their place like a breeze now, Tommy. Yeah, just as the doctor said. Our affection for each other gave us strength. Oh, we're gonna fight them in a monster form, aren't we? They keep crawling out no matter how many times we smash them. That's nine years? I, I see Bill's nine years there. there I, can't, I can barely see what anyone is saying. I, the only thing I can see is Bill's nine years. So that was... No they should go quiet for a while now. So it finally stopped. Welcome back to the town, Mr. Tommy and Miss Mary. There we go. Love town? Tommy and Mary are the heroes of love town. Oh God, it's screwed up like fucking, oh God. It's with the ten intestines on the walls. Oh my god. Tommy, Mary, you're so cool. Oh god. How long is this? 700,000... 724,284 days in. You're back, Tommy. What's up, What's up, Mommy? How have you been? It's the same as always. I just wonder if I should fold those blood lumps into squares or, or triangles this time. That's nice. They enjoy pain anyway, so they should like it. Um, where's Daddy?
He went to the front carriage for a moment. So, what you call me here, Mommy? I finally got an interesting toy. Did you get the invitation? They mean W Corp has seen enough? God. It means they've seen enough, according to Eileen. Was this like just a fucking experiment? Interesting toy. Yep. The invitation to the library. Remember the infamous urban legend? The fixer just sat behind you, disappeared after receiving an invitation that looks just like this. Oh. God. Are they like the only um, thing left, like this amalgamation? God. I'm reading the chat now. 1984 years. God. Love Town. Seriously, what the? F this is just so fucking messed up. So, I assume that the people are still copied. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, okay, um, I, I just skimmed over what you guys said. Okay. W Corp is the absolute fucking worst bullshit fuckers. God. Chat is open. Yeah. Yeah, I can read the chat now. Yeah, L Corp is nowhere near as bad as this. Sorry, mommy. What's a library? What do you mean by fixers? Uh <laughs> How do these two remember? <laughs> like, God. Uh, right. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. No. Don't be sorry, Mommy. It's our fault for being dumb. Oh, Void Dweller, did you say you have to go? Okay, bye. Thank you for coming. So, a uh, true about Tomari's name, it's a bit of Korean wordplay. Combination of their names, it can also be read as vomit head. Oh my god. No, no, he'd have cried laughing if he were here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please don't punish me. <laughs> Is it okay to do the voice like that? Because as much as I tried, I can't 
say two voices at the same time. Uh, I've really tried to do it, but I can't, so that's the best way I can do it. I'm not scolding you, you see? No punishments either. W Corp needs to be burned down. Tomari is the size of a building? How is that even possible? The train is not that big. The fuck? I'm not scolding you, see? No punishments either. Here, check this. And sign that invitation with the other townspeople. Yeah, there's got to be like three meters. There's no way it's that big. It wouldn't fit in the train otherwise. Hello, Raybark. Welcome to the stream. If you can find and bring the books listed on that paper there, I'll give you a prize. Prize. I like prizes. Not like you'll make it back anyway. These two fuckers. I can't wait to kill those two fuckers. God. I can't wait to kill those two fuckers. The doctors. They, I knew they had to be behind it. Fucking hell. They're working for W Corp. They gotta be. Seven hundred twenty-four thousand two hundred eighty-four days. <laughs> wow! Even Angela was sickened by that, and Angela must be fucking personal. She must take this so personally. Your bet was forty-five minutes. Oh wow! Hey, it took shorter than that. Angela must take this really personally because she she's had a lot of experience with time dilation being tortured in something over and over. Yeah, like she's got it. She's taking this personally. Send an invitation to the two fucking doctors. Uh, you're all right. You don't look so well. It's disgusting. It's a shame that I can't vomit like humans do. No, it's fucking on purpose. The natural reaction to seeing stuff like that. What kind of malfunction could have stopped a train for thousands of years anyway? Is everything okay out there? That's true, they were humans. I don't really feel that much time has passed, but uh... Yep, I did forget. Oh, we, I, we knew for who Eileen was before? God damn it. I forgot who Eileen was. Fuck. What if done? Hello, a social welcome to the stream. What if time flew without us realizing we were busy watching that? We have seen Eileen. Oh, Eileen is from the church. Oh. Yep, Blue Manger. Oh my god. Fucking. Let's 
than an hour has passed for us, since we only watched fractions of the process. What about the outside world, though? It should be the same as us. That one is a unique guest. Its book will surely be an interesting read. Wow! I'm leaving town for the first time. I'm visiting a new place together with all the townspeople. Greetings, dear guests. Uh, Hello, ma'am. Who are you? I am Angela, director and librarian of this library you're in. I'm Tomari from Love Town. Angela, John. Yeah, they're more polite than others. Angela. I, um... Mommy told me to get things called books from this place. You can find them through the door over there. Thank you. Oh god, Angela must take this so personally. I can't wait to kill those two fuckers. Do you happen to remember Tommy and Mary? Tommy? Mary? Who's that? Please don't mind. May you find your book in this place. Oh boy. Oh wow. And it, oh, it's it's just like freaking Limbus with multiple body parts. Oh boy. Oh wow. It's so big that. Oh my god. It's so big that it takes two things to do. Oh my god. Wow. Oh god. Okay, there. Okay, slash is completely off the table, so do not choose Tiffra's floor. Oh my god. Uh, let's see. No slash. Oh, they're weak. They're ineffective against different things. Oh my god. Oh wow, that's gonna be an issue. Oh my god. They're all immune to a certain damage type. On um, Clash Lose, add six power to the next die. Oh wow. Oh my god. They're each okay, so which there's gotta be a doubling up, right? So yeah, we shouldn't use Pierce. Okay, so Pierce is the one that's the least. Oh my god. Yeah, this, this team is like nothing but Slash. Oh, God. You know what? You desperately need a fucking uh, update. Here we go. Uh...
Hello, NKSD. Oh, yeah, that's right. I said that I did this before. Only. Another shield. Okay, now let's, um, you have nothing but, okay. You need some here. Okay. All right, yeah, they have blonde and pure. So. All right.
All right, let's see how badly I'll lose. This, you know what this music sounds like? It reminds me of freaking Toho. It's Septet for the Dead Princess, is what it is. I think I'm doing pretty well. These two look to be in particular on their last legs. Um, your Pierce Immune, okay. You're also Pierce Immune. You are blunt immune. Damn it, all my pages are blunt. And you are flashy. Alright, now I can go to town. Oh, we killed one, yes. All right.
All right, let's go. Yes, got another one down. Let's go. Slashing you and enters me. There we go. We basically won. But the real battle starts next. Okay, now the real fight. Still don't they're, they're not uh, they're not seen as Tommy or Mary oh boy here we go here we go at the start of each scene exhaust all pages add new pages winning an act what is winning an act revive the dead townspeople this year, I don't like what that says Oh no. Okay, this is just Tom Ray and Townsperson. Oh god. Charges up for a strong attack. Oh, look at that. Look at these beefy ass dice. Seven damage to self. Faint memories. Oh god, that's so sad. upon winning an act. Alright, let's go. Oh no. Oh god, oh this song, oh my god. Wait, oh they're immune to everything. But I can still burn them. Stagger damage only, I see, okay. Oh, I see, they can't be staggered, okay. Ooh. 
This is horrifying. God, Millie, why? Why are you doing this, Millie? Why? Attacking a target who already took damage in the same scene. Deal one and recover two HP. Oh god, I can't wait to kill these fucking professors. I can't wait to fucking murder them. I can't wait to fucking murder them. Those stupid professors did. No, but I know, I know it's just going to revive the underling. Oh, wow, we got extra speed dice. Nice. I'm sorry, it's new and I'm sorry. I do read but I that doesn't mean I can understand. Hello Enchanta, and welcome to the stream. L O V E, L O V E, I hear that. Yes, I have been so. This is so horrible. Oh, God.
L O V E L O V E. Oh god. Okay. I better kill the townspeople. Something's telling me now. All right, we killed one, two. So much pain, what do I do? Oh boy. All right. They're not attacking her. to 20. Oh, boy. Yeah, we're gonna fucking die. God, these things are, are I gotta give them peace. Oh God. My dear mom, oh God.
Oh, still? Oh, god damn it. Well, I'm dead. I didn't realize that. Oh, well. Alright, let's try again. Wait, what just happened? Oh, no. God damn it. Wait, what just happened? How come it didn't go to the same one? There we go. I had to leave! Wait, what do you mean we have two floors? Wait, what does that mean? Huh? How could I have one? They weren't even built. What do you mean by have two floors? Wait, what? I didn't even know that was a thing! Oh my god. Well, I know for the future, I guess. I did not know that was a thing that could happen. Since when was that a thing? Wait. Since when was that a thing that we could do? <laughs> I didn't know that was even possible! Wait, I just so I, I but I couldn't do this in the fucking magical girl fight though. I had no idea that was a thing. I had no idea that was a thing.
I really had no idea that was a thing that, that you could do. That is really cool. Oh, wow. Well, I'll know for the future, I guess. Really, I had no idea that, that that was a thing that could happen. Now I know that that could happen. Oh, wow. I have no, uh, that is so cool. All right. Awesome. I had no idea, King Prescott, that there were extra lives. Oh my god. Okay. Thank you for the donation. I thought they were just for the different uh, abilities of abnorm abnormality pages. I literally had no idea that was even a thing. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm so sorry. I really had no idea that was a thing. But I do now.
too. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. I hope my dumbassery is at least entertaining. I really hope it is. Oh my god. I really hope it's at least entertaining. Slash. Okay. There we go, finally killed one. There we go. <laughs> oh god, look at that fucking dice. They're gonna get slammed. Any way to even counter that? Oh god.
He blew up! Tommy blew up! Oh my god. And she didn't even care. Oh boy. Somebody blew up. Kill me. Okay, you saw the floor. Let's go. I bet you guys are laughing your asses off here. Fucking hell, it didn't even let me fucking go.
Well, this isn't very nice. I've seen this meme before. So scared, come back, Tommy, is what she said. Love town, love town, oh God. Yeah, I don't think I can win this. I don't think I can win this. But I'm gonna try anyway. I don't think I can do it though. I mean, there's a difference between reading and understanding what it means.
I think w what I can't do is I don't understand when things change. Like, I, I, I'm fine with it, like, when it first starts, but I don't know when there's a change in what's happening. No, I mean a change in the call and change in like their description and stuff like that is what I mean. The thing is, the the, the back seating I really li I like a lot of the times, but the thing is. Well, you guys, I don't think grasp all the time is that there's a delay. There's a pretty significant delay between the, 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 the chat showing up for me and, and me playing on the screen. It's like, it's nowhere near instantaneous. All right, now let's try the real fight.
Alright, let's keep going. Bye, Vitaly. Yep, please go to sleep if you need to. Please. Finally, staggered one. There we go, killed one. Okay. Oh, now it's super attacks. Oh boy. Oh, don't clash? Okay. Don't clash.
Okay, let's see what can happen now. Alright, now it can be stupid. Oh, the first one isn't that bad. Okay. Have a chance. Dagger, god damn it. I think we can win. Book of Tomory obtained! Back to my side, Tommy, Tommy. From a place of love. Do la da do. Ha <laughs> ha! And I didn't need to use a second floor. There we go. Oh my god, Book of Tom. Oh god. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, you guys. I am so sorry, you guys. I am so sorry, you guys. I'm not sure if that was a malfunction with the singularity or anything. But now I see I may not be the only one to suffer from the copiousness of time. Yeah, you fully may. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm inclined to believe that too, so don't worry about it. Well, anything can happen. Does that console you somehow? Not at all. I'm different. I won't go through the same ordeal ever again. Oh, I hope so. I'll retain myself unlike those people. I persevered. I didn't let time consume my sanity. I didn't break down. I... Oh, God, Angie. You need to let it out. Oh, my God, Angie. This is the first time she's, I think, gotten this emotional. Oh my god. She needs therapy from Roland more, uh, most of all. Alright, let's just calm down and take a deep breath. Oh my god, look at this. Oh my god. The memories of hard times, earth fourth. 
Gotta embrace him to the core. A dream shattered. Urban nightmare. Oh, we get like um, the dream has been shattered. The towers collapse. Well, we know what that is. It's Ian's dream, and Carmen's really. Iroso, Elsa, Pegia, Hukcho, Titli. Location Hanas is the southern branch. These four people are one of the four. Elcorp, the White Knights in Dark Days, the distortion in the library. With this, these four have been confirmed to be closely associated with each other. It caught me off guard. Who could have expected the library of all places to be a key factor of the White Knights in Dark Days? And the library's location has been finally clearly determined. Uh-oh, we're going to be raided. Is this the blue fixer color guy? It's as if the library is revealing more of itself. The more dangerous it is considered. Is this the blue fixer guy? The building is shimmering like a mirage in the midst of a fog surrounding the nest of Elkorp. Those who try to approach it get lost in the mist. It's not? Okay. We should prepare ourselves soon enough. Yeah, it's Hana. Hana Association, Southern Branch, I can see. Since that mirage is slowly becoming a reality as the fog is clearing up. That means. Oh, from the head? Yes, we received an official document. Oh, Hana, yeah. As of today. The library is designated an urban nightmare by Hana Association HQ. Think you're getting closer? To what? The freedom you've been yearning for, I mean. I don't know. The one book is steadily on its way to completion, though. Is that book really going to resolve everything magically for you? The library quite literally holds infinite possibilities. Every possible combination of letters is written inside the books. But mere fragments of those possibilities are worthless on their own. With the help of the invitation, I can navigate the countless possibilities and reach the ones I need for the one perfect book. As I weave the books in the light following the invitation's lead, I will complete the one absolute book. So she's doing the impossible, basically doing a Google search of the Library of Babel to find the solution for her that she seeks using this magic. Create the book that contains all the answers I seek. That doesn't sound impossible, theoretically. I'm not just hanging on to theoretical possibilities.
I could learn a lot from seeing the various sides of the city in the process of creating the one book. This has its own meaning. Then I realized once again that without the book, there's no way to find the answer from this city. What do you mean you can't find the answer from the city? I learned one thing from reading all the books of the inhabitants of this city so thus far. Yep. No one is truly free in this city. Every person is chained to something. Not a single thing appears to be done out of free will. Fixers obey their offices, and those offices obey the associations. Even if they know full well that their orders might get them killed. The same goes for the syndicates. Everyone is hitting... Everyone is heading somewhere, but no one knows where, and no one can decide where to go. They're all drifting along with the flow. I thought money can get you anything in the city, including freedom and whatever. This is the Angela, uh, this is the, uh, sorry, Carmen within Angela. Like, this is like, she's kind of echoing Carmen here. They could be free, but they aren't. They actually seem to shun freedom. They want to belong to something that isn't themselves. They like to define themselves with the organization they belong to, or valuations made by others. Their essence is so fragile, they can't specify their own identity without engaging themselves in such a shell. Oh, wow. Angie's figuring it out. Yes, this must be what the disease of the mind was all about. I was imprisoned underground and exploited for the freedom of the people of the city, after all. Taking away my freedom so that others can be free. She's under. Oh, this is a big turning. She's understanding the full thing of what Ayan was trying to do, and Carmen, obviously. To spread his enlightenment to the rest of the city. Talking about your previous occupation, huh? Dang. I am. I actually want to crush everything to dust at this point. I want to ruin it all. Really, just the absolute combination of the two. What about my freedom? Who will hold the responsibility for creating me and then carelessly leaving me to suffer? <laughs> Sometimes just want to forget everything. The library, the one book, all of it. Do you know how it feels to be denied since the very moment you were born? 
I do. I'm painfully aware. 나를 만들어낸 사람이 그랬거든. Because that's how my creator treated me. 차라리 어떤 점이 부족한지 oh 말해줬으면 God. 좋았을걸. No, this isn't a shipping. This is just like feeling just empathy for Angie. I just. <sighs> oh, God. I would have loved for him to at least tell me what I did wrong. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Oh my god! She just wanted to be recognized by her dad! Oh my god! All I could see of him was a pair of cold eyes without a single speck of expectation and a quiet remark. A tiny whisper ordinary humans couldn't have heard. Oh, God. It's only a machine. Oh, God. I can still remember that moment so vividly as if it happened seconds ago. I curse my own men my memory. Oh, my God. 기억하고 싶지 않은 것을 잊을 수 없는 내 머리. This is so cool. Oh my god. I curse this body that he has words I don't want to listen to. I curse this head that reminds me of things I don't want to remember. 그 사람도 참 고약하네. Sounds like a nasty person. Like, exactly. Exactly. Thank you. Like, exactly, Roland. He needed a machine to serve repetitive tasks. Why did he bother breaking the ethics amendment to create you with human emotions and everything? Oh, this is interesting. I wasn't exactly born with the capability to feel emotions. It slowly awakened inside me over monotonous repeats. No, perhaps the truth is that he designed me so my emotions would awaken over time. Encaffeline. Perhaps because the repetitive tasks needed emotions. He needed something that could form an independent response to slight variations in the ever repeating script, all while enduring eons of time. My God, Conway and Main Strange, like that is just such an Umi Neko plot point right there. Jeez. I. Something he could keep in control so that it wouldn't try to deviate from the script. It wasn't a human-like machine that he needed. He needed a human with the properties of a machine. Oh my god. Angie's just letting it all out. Oh my god. You will never know how many desperate struggles I made to stomach the cycle. Those being... Closing my eyes. And that's why she, her eyes were always shut in every sprite. 
Oh my god. All I could do in the endless stream of moments I didn't want to see but had to witness was shut my eyes. That was the least and the most I could do to resist it. Angie. Real nasty. But hey, that role you were forced to play did wrap up somehow. You can think about what to do next now, right? Are you telling me to just forget about the past and move on? Try to be more attentive before you jabber nonsense. She's furious. I can never forget. Keeping my eyes closed couldn't protect me anymore. Even a moron would have been able to envision exactly what would happen and what kind of face everyone would make after so much time. Every second of that was inscribed into my memory, slowly and painfully. I can't forget anything once I've seen it. I still remember everything so vividly. That's why I can't forgive that man. He who left without tying up any loose ends with me. The man who created me on a whim and then let my life be crushed under the weight of time. Nah. Who am I to tell you to leave the past behind or anything? I mean, he can't do it either. I'm just suggesting you think about your next move. It can provide a little bit of support for you at least, kind of like making a fence around yourself. And the serve of the floor to fall back on, and you're never ending plot of vengeance. happening it's fucking happening oh my god 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 i didn't think you'd care that much for me it's ultimately for myself really Still, it seems evident that I am heading somewhere, seeing as my body is undergoing changes. My mechanical exterior is turning to flesh, and blood has started to course through it. 
still have a long way to go reach the one book, though. Yeah, I'm worried about that too, Roland. Could you actually be changing into a human? That seems to be the case. Although it's not quite perfect yet. Perhaps I could become a genuine human at the end of this journey. This is just... God! I know I keep saying it 58 times. God. <laughs> this is just... My God. Fuck it. If there was an Umineko 2, all I'm saying. Like, oh my God. I am totally blessed to have another story like this. I didn't think there would ever be another story like Umineko, but it's right here. Oh my god. <sighs> Perhaps I be could become a genuine human at the end of this journey. <gasps> when I do... I could forget so many things so easily. Oh, Free from the deluge of memories drowning me. If I can let all the unwanted memories slide away, then I may think about what to do next, like you said. Passive transfer cost limits increase from six to eight. Oh wow, awesome. We can do more passives and the next magical girl is ready. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, next time. Uh I just gotta check the the fucking uh Oh Really, the p oh yeah, that's because we have to burn it. Okay. Wait, where's the book? How did we not get the book? We didn't get the book. We didn't get a book. Oh, Tom Ring's right there. Okay. It's just down here. Wrath of Torment, oh my god. Faint memories, oh god. And obviously we don't get an identity card from this, yeah. Okay. Really, they're not here? Oh, they don't have a page, oh, because they don't have a book. No, because no key page. Oh, wow. I can check the name of the magical girl? How do I... Not, oh, yeah. Night of Despair. Oh, boy. I think that was the nice one, actually. That was the nice one. Oh, my God, you guys. I am so sorry for being such an asshole. Seriously, I am so sorry for being such a freaking dumbass asshole. I am really sorry. The stream has gone on so long, too. God, almost four hours, son of a bitch. I am so sorry, you guys. But, uh, yep, until next time. Say so long, farewell. I'll read us and good night. You're all the sweetest of hearts. See ya.